A 24-year-old student from Zhejiang gives up his pursuit of a bachelor's degree abroad and sets out to bicycle from Australia back to his home in Jiaxing, China. Why he does so and what happens to him along the way, this week on Inside Zhejiang. By the end of 2011, the microblog of 24-year-old He Luojie had attracted lots of attention, and for good reason. He was en route to China from Australia by bicycle. His Xinlang Weibo microblog recounted his journey, which was followed attentively by scores of netizens. And over the months that followed, He Luojie's journey was a hot topic. At last, on the 16th of June, 2012, after 461 days and more than 10,000 kilometers, He Luojie arrived at his destination, Jiaxing City, Zhejiang. Zhu 中国比较少，就就是一个人到国外去骑行比较少，所以，呃，在中国做了一个先行的者，我有时候也挺自豪的。The passionate and charismatic He Luojie was born in 1988. In 2007, after graduating from senior high school, He entered the Shanghai Bangde College, where he majored in logistics. This major had been established in cooperation with the University of Tasmania, down under in Australia. After two years of successful studies in Shanghai, He earned the chance to study at the University of Tasmania. At the end of 2010, after a year and a half study, he was awarded his graduation certificate. While many of his classmates decided to continue studying for the bachelor's degree, He made a surprising decision. He put his further studies on hold and made plans to cycle around Australia. You 呃，澳大利亚体验一圈，骑行一圈也是很好的一个选择。Not everyone, of course, would agree that this was the right choice, and many thought that his suspension of further studies to go cycling around Australia was a bit mad. Perhaps, fortunately, however, He's parents shared his logic. He explained that he first had the idea of cycling around Australia when he learned of the university's offer to study there. When he chose to take the graduation certificate rather than continue with the degree courses, He Luojie hoped he'd still have the time and the means to carry out the project before returning to China. In Jiaxing City, He Luojie told his parents about his decision to cycle around Australia. He's parents were born in a small village in Zhejiang province and grew their current company from a small shipping transport business. They are no strangers to hard times, 
or hardships. But although they were not entirely surprised by their son's announcement, they still worried. On the 13th of March, 2011, Huolojie started from Hobart, the capital of Tasmania, Australia, setting out on a course that would take him around the eastern coastline. This photo is my first photo with the sea and the sea. There was a movie called Agan Zhen Zhen. In Agan Zhen Zhen, he was running through the sea. He was running through the sea, he was running through the sea, and he was running through the sea. I also did some of this. This is the problem of eating and sleeping. How do you solve the problem of eating and sleeping? Eating in Australia is mostly me. I have a wine bottle, a wine bottle, and I have to do it all myself. Because there is no place to go, 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 no place to go. 然后露营，澳大利亚多数都是露营，找房车公园，找各种草地，但它很容易找，它到处都是大片的草地，也没有人管，也挺安全的草地。我当时就觉得整个人被放飞了一样，想去哪就去哪，然后心情特别高兴，见到人都是笑呵呵的，别人也对我笑呵呵，当时也很激动。The beautiful landscape of Australia made Horlogia's journey an enjoyable one. He was not always alone on the road, and he met many cyclists from different countries. Sometimes, for kilometers and for hours at a time, they shared the experience and encouraged each other. It was en route to Sydney that Horlogia decided to return to China by bicycle. I checked many books. 之前所有的澳大利亚留学生都是坐飞机回来的，还没有人说骑自行车为主，一万多公里这样骑回来。然后我又打听了好多很多人，当时也是国内骑骑车界里面比较著名的，和他们有联系，他们说从来没听说过，那我就很有干劲。It was during the next leg of his journey that the idea of riding a bicycle back to China had become something of an obsession. At just that time, He's parents came to Australia with ideas of their own. 反正我们是这样想，他比你爹的在四月份，像差不多比你爹的八月份签证到到的，那么叫他去玩一下、吃一下也无所谓。我们六月份去的了，想把他带回来。他们说是过来旅游，其实他们准备把我带一起带回家庭的。然后我当时没有告诉他们我要骑回中国。那一天晚上，大家都在吃饭。他们刚准备开口的时候，我先开口了。然后我先下手为强，告诉他们我要骑回家。那么当时呢，确实我们呃很紧张的，因为这这么远的路，动了一样，骑过来啊，由于不是那个那个那个安全问题啊，真是非常担心的。那不行，这怎么行呢？你这样这样真的这样的话，我们把你禁止要掐得到。During the next ten days of their visit, the family did their best to avoid the topic altogether. And although they rejected their son's request, they also knew they hadn't succeeded in rinsing the idea out of his thoughts completely. A 24-year-old student from Zhejiang gives up his pursuit of a bachelor's degree abroad and sets out to bicycle from Australia back to his home in Jiaxing, China. Why he does so and what happens to him along the way, this week. On inside Zhejiang, in July of 2011, after seeing off his parents, He Luojie started his long trip from Australia to China. He chose to start from Brisbane, 
the capital city of the Australian state of Queensland. His plan was to cycle across central Queensland and arrive at the city of Darwin in the north. Meanwhile, He's parents returned to Jiaxing City. Upon arrival, the first thing his father did was buy seven maps. For her's parents, the days and nights of anxiety and worry stretched on. His parents also took a lot of criticism from relatives and from friends. Hoping to relieve at least some of his parents' stress, He Luojie reports to the family through QQ, or by cell phone text message. But when cycling across central Queensland, sparsely populated with few communication towers to support daily communication with home, He loses contact with the wider world and his parents. Then Her's parents anxiously await each scheduled update from their son, who does his best to connect with them from the road. But the day came when He didn't make contact, and his parents' anxieties boiled over into worry and panic. Why he didn't phone home next time.